Hey, Paul here from The Crypto Factor. Welcome back. Now, if you follow this channel, if you watch this channel, you know I love unique projects. I love innovation. I love it when they bring something new to the picture and I can understand when something's going to go well or not, in the most part anyway. And today's sponsored video is actually very interesting and I want you to pay attention because it does bring uniqueness, it does bring innovation and I want to talk about it. I'm going to talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it so you can research and decide if it's for you. By the way, if it's your first time here, this channel is all about cryptopreneurship for aspiring cryptopreneurs and cryptopreneurs alike. And we do daily 60 second videos, we do reviews, we do interviews, we do live streams. And if that's something you want to discover, then go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss the next video. Who knows? You might discover something you like. So what are we going to be talking about today? We're going to talk about Castello Coin. And what is Castello Coin trying to do? Castello Coin is trying to become the bridge between traditional art world and the digital art world. And they are actually subject to Swiss auditing and regulation. So what is so unique about Castello Coin? What are they trying to do here? Why do we care and why you should look into this? Let's have a look now. So their tagline is the art of payment, which is a play on words between art and payment, digital money. And that's what they're going for here, which I find quite interesting. And they are already available on Uniswap and Bittrex, but also Bitmart. Now, if we scroll down here, there's a really cool video you can watch, but I want to show you something else. So Castello Coin is trying to be the first coin in history to achieve its level of recognition through a unique physical artwork and enjoy a unique position in the crypto world and traditional world. And what they're trying to do is make their artwork as a symbol of the Castello Coin that will position the crypto world in the traditional world and make it popular there. So basically the coin acts as a bridge between the traditional financial world of finance and the world traditional forms of investing and traditional art. And then they go on to say that the coin acts as a bridge between the traditional financial world of finance and world of traditional forms of investment and traditional art and the new world, the world of cryptocurrencies and the digital age. Talk about good sales copy on this website. The resulting global recognition will ensure a high level of relevance and acceptance and leads to strong trust. The Castello coin also gets a strong emotional connection to the virtual market. Okay, listen, this is speculation. It's speculation that this is what it will accomplish. But please comment down below if you think Castello can accomplish this, but don't do it just yet. Wait wait for it. Let's review the project first, get all the information and see if they have something going here. Let's research this together. So to my understanding, what they're trying to do is create the Castello Cube, which is going to be a unique physical artwork and try and make the first coin in history to achieve its level of recognition through an NFT collection based on real artwork made from pure gold. So the Castello coin will be the first token with a world-class artwork as its ambassador. It will have exclusivity because the number of coins will be fixed to retain exclusive value. And the coin will also provide access to high-end goods and exclusive artworks, limited editions basically. And this is something that I'm also interested in, at least when it comes to artworks and limited editions. So let's read on. It has strong partners because the Casella coin is supported by strong strategic partners in blockchain and finance, including a close partnership with a Swiss bank. And they're aiming for trust and transparency. The coin will be developed by a decent AG, which will offer the highest degree of security, transparency, and regulation. So basically they want to make something big here. They're really aiming high and they do have a good idea. It is unique. And if they can pull this off, it's quite interesting. Let's dive in and see what else is going on here. So what is their mission? Casilla Coin starts a revolution in the cryptocurrency market and combines the worlds of artistry and blockchain technology. And I must say this website, this artwork I see on the website is actually quite appealing. I really like what they did with the statue and everything. I, I, I like what they went with here. And, and, and the dark colors and the blackness, if you will, with the silver does give them a higher sort of, 
how can I put this elegance to what they're doing? They're, they're, I, I, this, is, this seems corporate, but artistic at the same time, if that makes sense. I, I really like it. So the Castello coin will create a great opportunity to participate in growing markets for art, digital art, NFTs, and digital gold, and more. The scarcity of the token and its unique brand identity will make the currency the most hype in the crypto market in no time. Listen, this is pure speculation. While I like what they're doing here, we don't know this for sure. They're going for it. They might have the marketing and the hype and everything to go for this, but we don't know if it's going to happen. But let's read on. It goes on to say an international team of experts have developed a global campaign to make the artwork around Castello coin the most marketed artwork in the world in the shortest possible time. Thus, the coin will attract enormous amount of international attention and will be the first token with a world class artwork as its brand ambassador. And I like what they're going for here. I like how they're wording things. But again, make sure you do your own research and do understand that a lot of this is sales copy and marketing on the good side they're doing it well. So let's see what else they're doing here. So if we click the Castello Castle, it goes on to say, the Castello coin redefines the system through its unique combination of characteristics. Remarkable art, blockchain technology, strong partnerships, trust, proven technical characteristics and focused marketing. They're putting a lot in marketing. And I like that. I think marketing can literally break or make a project. And, they're do and, and they seem like they're going to go all in here. And I like that. The revolution advances the usual boundaries through focused and precise strategy and marketing development. The crypto industry is here to stay. Yes, yes it is. Blockchain technology is used by the masses to make your own money work for you. The market is growing rapidly and is irresistible, and the Castello coin offers even more conservative investors the chance to participate in the growing value of the markets for art, for NFTs, digital art, and digital gold, as well as own a payment token fit for the new digital age. So they are quite ambitious and they're not scared to show it here. Now, if we go right to creating art legend, due to the worldwide uniqueness of the Castello Cube artwork, the Castello coin is the only coin to receive permanent attention. No, it is not the only coin to receive permanent attention. You don't know this. There will be other coins out there. Again, this is marketing. This is sales copy. I like it, but please be aware that you should always do your own research. This is investing. This is risky. And I just want to down, not downplay this, but I want people to land on earth a little bit here. It all comes with dangers. But that said, that does not make it impossible to happen. Let's move on. Art has always inspired and connected the whole world. But until now, there has been no connection to the digital world. Actually, there has been, there's NFTs, but maybe not how they are trying to do it. The Castello coin connects the classical system with the crypto world and new technologies. The global awareness positions the token on the crypto market as a unique means of payment for special works of art, NFT, and serves as a support of talented artists. So I see what they're trying to do here, and I see how they're going about um, trying to get this done. What do you think now? Comment down below what you think so far, and let's dive deeper and see what they're all about here. So here you have the token facts or the token key facts. So the Castello coin uses a blockchain to digitize the funding process for a world-class artwork as well as future use cases. Using the Ethereum blockchain for this offers several advantages such as decentralization, security, automation through smart contracts, and simplicity of implementation. And yes, I am an Ethereum fan. If you watch this channel, you know I prefer the Ethereum blockchain for NFTs, depending on what you're trying to do. And Castello Coin, with everything they've listed so far, if that's what they were going for, I would not have trusted any other blockchain or some other blockchains would have, would have kind of raised some concerns. Not that they're bad blockchains. I just believe that Ethereum is the best fit for this project. Second layer solutions will help achieve upgradability, efficiency, and climate friendliness.
So possibly they might use something like Polygon or, or another Layer 2 solution to upgrade in the future or scale up as Ethereum builds and grows over the next several years. So let's have a look at the technical details here. So the Castilla coin is based on ERC-20 and acts as a means of payment for high value economic goods and arts. Again, so ERC-20 is on the Ethereum blockchain. That's what they're using as a protocol or one of them anyway. And it's tried, proven and tested. Now, the ERC-20 token standard provides predefined rules that simplify understanding and development of the token. And I know this is true because I am building, we are building a game on the Ethereum blockchain. And yes, I have to agree with this. The use of Polygon protocol, I'm, I'm, am I Nostradamus? Am I a prophet here? I said they might use Polygon and they are going to use Polygon because we have arrived at the same conclusion. I'm actually doing this live with you, by the way, this live sponsored review of Castello Coin. And yes, Polygon is very powerful. So the use of Polygon protocol allows the Castello Coin to achieve climate neutrality and low transaction costs. Now, the Castello coin takes advantage of the Ethereum blockchain, decentralized and secure from attacks. And yes, there's a lot of debate you can do. You can, you, you can talk about how a decentralized Ethereum really is compared to Bitcoin and so on. But let's put it this way. From all blockchains that are out right now, Ethereum, in my opinion, is the most decentralized of all of them. So they do have a point there. So the token itself is called Castello Coin. It's an ERC-20 token and it's a payment token. That's, that's its utility. The token issuer is Hoga Capital AG. So you can actually research the company, see what they're about. Just stick it in Google, do your research, comment down below what you find. The location is in Switzerland. The foundation is in 2021, so it's relatively a new project. And its legal form is the Swiss Stock Corporation. And their team size consists of 25 people, which is, which is actually a sizable team. Now, their market segment, art market, art exhibition, and art digitization. And their grouping, digitization, blockchain, and cryptocurrencies. And if you move down lower here, you can see Castello in the press. This is where it's being featured. And you can probably click on these and find out more if you click on each one of them and see what they have to say, which I suggest you do. Then if you scroll down here, you can see their actual roadmap. Now, I'm not going to sit here reading out their whole roadmap for you. You can actually go to their website and read this for yourself. But there's a few key points here. You can see what they've accomplished in 2021. And if you scroll down, you can see what they're doing in 2022. And of course, what they're planning for 2022 and 2023. So check out the roadmap for yourselves. And if you want, come down here and basically stay updated with the latest news. Now, what about the team? Who is the team? Because that's extremely important for whatever project you invest or you research. Let's have a look here. So if you go to the about section right here, you can see who's behind the Castello coin. And the team basically consists of financial and crypto specialists, management consultants, marketing, PR and social media experts, as well as highly appreciated art critics, resulting in a combination of decades of international business experience. And here you can see their team and actually click on their LinkedIn profiles to check out who these people are. And one thing I want you to do here, and I want you to do this, check out their LinkedIn profiles, but then search the name on Google as well and see if everything matches. Plus, research their name on Google anyway, whether they have a LinkedIn profile or not. See if they are legit. Because a lot of times, scam projects will not have the people or the people they're listing are not actually actually part of the project or they're irrelevant to the project. So I actually challenge you, urge you, as a matter of fact, as a better word, to check this out and do a deep dive uh, by doing this, if you will. But it looks like everybody here has experience, has what it takes to make a project like this go forward and actually succeed. Also, if you check out the documents up here, you will see a list of white papers, one pagers, and so on. You can go to the white paper here 
and actually read what it's all about. And this is actually beautifully designed. Now, most crypto influencers actually read out the white paper with you. I actually urge you to read the white paper for yourself and think if the white paper is actually possible and if they can pull it off. Now, don't forget, of course, price does have a lot to do with speculation. It doesn't really matter, but make sure you deep dive. And something else they have here, which I really like and I really think has been put together well, is their one pager. I actually looked through this, I actually don't speak German, but I actually looked through this. I'm sure there's an English version as well. And just the design itself, as it's one pager, is beautiful. They actually know what they're doing. I, I see that they know how to reach out to investors. They know how to reach out to people. They know how to basically push market and and push their, push their product, if you will. So that for me is a very good sign. You can also go to the public forum page right here, introducing the Castillo forum and stay tuned so and don't miss out a single update. And if you scroll down, you will see more things about Castillo coin and what they're doing here. For example, features of the platform, which has an NFT marketplace. It talks about the Castillo coin. It has a token search and filter, a dashboard, of course, ratings and multi-wallet sync. And if, and if I'm not mistaken, they're actually building this right now as we speak. And they actually have a pretty cool little video here you can click on and watch as well. So what is my view? What is my opinion on Castello Coin? Well, first of all, I would research it further. I would deeper dive into it. But it is something that is exciting, innovative, and could have a good potential upside here. So I like what they're trying to do. I like the way they're going about it. And I really think that this could be a good play. But what do you think? Comment down below what you think about this project, what you think about Castello. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, let's talk about it. Check out the links down below. I'll put some links about Castello and I'll put some extra links for you to check out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.